What's up, class? What's up, class? How's everybody doing? Can I get a thumbs good. up if you're doing good? Let me get a thumbs up if you're doing good. Let me see you. Let me see you. That's weaker. Hey, let me get a thumbs up if you're doing good. Okay. Good, good, good. So today we're going to be talking about budgeting and planning our money. All right. So have, who's heard about budgeting before? Has anybody, has anybody heard about that word budgeting? Let me see a thumbs up if you heard budgeting before. If you haven't, no worries. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to share my screen. But first, before we get into budgeting, I want to ask you all a question. Let me stop sharing my screen. I want to ask you all a question. How much money do you think a grown up spends in one week? Who has, who has an answer for it? Do you think it's $500, $1,000? Arvind, tell us, how much money do you think a grown up spends in one week? Um, a thousand. Okay, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Let's see, who else do we have? Who else thinks they know how much money a grown up? Nate, how much money does a grown up spend in one week? What you think? Like one hundred dollars or something. Okay, in one week. <laughs> that would be really good. That would be really good. <laughs> Coco, how much does a grown up spend in one week? I see my grown up. Only had $10 every week. They, sp they spend $10 every week? Yep, my, my, my grown up only had $10. Okay. Okay. Anybody else know how much a grown up spends a week? That's week, or you got something for us? Hi. Yeah. You said what? No. Okay, well, let's see. 100. $100? Okay, okay. So let's see how much a grown-up spends in one week. Now I'm going to share my screen, and we'll see how much money a grown-up spends in one week. All right, so we have the average adult spends $1,000 in one week. So who said 1000 Who was that? That was Arvind? Yep, great job, great job. So the average adult spends $1,000 and $150 in one week. Now in one month, the average adult spends $4,600. And in one entire year, the average adult spends $55,200 a year. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So let's talk about what a plan is. So who knows what a, what a plan is? Does anybody know what that is? Who has created a plan before? Has anybody created a plan before? Nate, what, what's a plan? And tell us about a plan that you have created before in your time. It's like when you get together to try to like to catch a bad guy or something. Okay, have you created a plan before for anything? My friends have, but I haven't. Okay, no worries. I'm glad you know what it is. That's huge. That's huge, man. Yeah. Arvind, do you know what a plan is? And if you do know, tell us about a plan that you have created before. Um, my friends have all things. Okay, so what is the actual plan? Um, I don't know. Okay, so a plan is a plot or an idea to get something done. So basically what a budget is, is a plan for your money because we don't wanna not have a plan for our money and it just goes willy nilly and just goes everywhere. We wanna have a plan so we know where our money goes, right? Exactly. All right, so this is what a budget looks like. So a budget is you have your income, so your income is the amount of money that you're getting every month. So you're getting $3,000 every month. And then you have your needs. So you know the things that you need in your life. So you have your house, your food, electricity. We need water, right? Who likes water? Raise your hand if you like water. You like water? Okay, I like water too. So those are the things that we need. We know we need to pay for those. 
And then after you have your needs, then you have your wants. So your wants are like, does anybody like going out to eat at restaurants? Does anybody like that? I like restaurants. Yeah, so those are wants. Those are not things we need. So you put those in your budget as well, along with movies. What's your favorite movie? Let me hear, who has a favorite movie in here? Let's see, who has a favorite movie? That's Wika, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is the Raya movie. Oh, okay, okay. Krista Bell, you got a favorite movie? Um, yes, The Magic School Bus. Okay, I it's like on. That. It's on Netflix. Ooh, Nate, you got a favorite movie? The Spider-Man movie, that's such a good one. Oh, that is my favorite movie too. And Magic School Bus, I love that one too. Yeah. Coco, you got something for us? What's your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie, actually, is actually Frozen. Okay, okay. So those are things that you have to put into your budget so you can actually go pay for the movie and pay for the fun that you want to have. Because if you're just out here just spending your money, you're going to lose it all. So what you do is with this budget right here with all these numbers, you budget and plan for when you want to go out to the movies or when you want to go out to a restaurant, okay? All right, so let me ask you all some questions. So where do you get your money from? Does anybody know where we get our money from? Coco, where do you get your money from? I'll tell you, I got money too, because I clean my room and my mom gave me money. I'll show you after all. Okay, okay. Let's see, who else, where else do you get your money from? Anybody? Um, I, I know because my mom, I cleaned my room, so he gave me $10. Okay, that's great. That's great. Ariella, where do you get your money from? Well, I babysit my brother, my baby little brother. <laughs> and I help out because I'm like nine years old, so my parents like know that I can handle it. Mm -hmm. And my parents they give me money depending on how long i work so like i've got some pretty good cash saved up from mm -hmm. that okay so where do you spend your money that's the real question where do you spend your money go ahead ariella i spend it since my parents already spend their money on the things that they need mm -hmm. their family needs i use it for like toys and stuff Okay, toys, spend money on toys. My parents okay. are also teaching me how to invest. So like I can wow. and then sell it for a higher price. Yes, ma'am. That's what I like to hear, investing. Okay, okay, Christabel, where do you spend your money? Um, I want to tell you all I got my money. Okay, that's fine. Um, I got it from, I got it from my mommy's friend, Jenna. Hmm, okay. And uh, she gave me that a uh, piggy bank and um maybe I'll use it for some new toys or maybe a new spatula that my mommy and I really need. Okay, okay. Or maybe toys again. Or maybe some more toys. Or more toys. <laughs> or three toasters. Okay, some toasters and some toys. Okay, okay. So who has an item that they need? to spend money on because toys are not a need, they are a want. So needs are like food, water, clothes, or you know anything like that. So who has a need? Who has an item that they need to spend some money on? That's Wika, what do you think? I think clothes. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's something I need too. I need some more clothes. It's summer and I got a lot of I got a lot of cold clothes. I need some warmer clothes. Nate, do you have an item that you need to spend money on? Uh new spend money on my house on this house like every month. Okay, yep, yep, because you gotta have a place to live, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay, this next question is, 
what is one item that you want right now the most? So is it a toy? Is it is it some slime? Is it a, a DVD? What is it? Who has an item that they want right now um, really bad? Arvine, do you have an item that you want really bad? Um, a slime. Okay, I like slime too. My little sister loves slime. Okay, Christabel, you have an item that you want? Some more toys? <laughs> all, I, all my family wants is a new spatula so we can make pancakes. I want pancake mm. mix. Mm, I love pancakes. I had some pancakes today, actually. Nate, you got something for us, man? What's one item I, you want? I typed it in the chat and did the iPad because... <laughs> Because okay. I, I got a really good educational game that I love and mm -hmm. play it all the time. Okay. Are you going to share the, share with the class what that educational game is so they can go play too? Uh, it's like Prodigy. You can get it on Chrome. Uh, it, you can make your own profile. Uh, and you could, if you're a member, you can mm -hmm. evolve pets get more like a hundred plus mm. okay okay that's pretty and what's good, it man. called prodigy uh, prodigy you can search it up on chrome okay guys so now that's great thank you for sharing nate so thank what you. we're going to do now is we're going to play a game where you are going to help me budget okay we're going to really see how this works in real life Now we got to go down to page 46. That's a lot of pages. So I'm going to be calling on you all to help me figure out how to budget, OK? All right. Let's see. Let's start. Do you all like dogs and cats? Who likes animals? Raise your hand if you like animals. Okay, 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 okay. So let's start here. So this is the game we're gonna play. Is this item in your budget? We have to circle yes or no, but we're not circling anything. You guys are just gonna tell me yes or no. So our budget is listed over here to the left. So let's try this first one. Cat food is $14 and our budget is $14. That's weaker. Do we have enough money for this cat food? No. We actually do. We have $14 and it costs $14. The second one is. Yeah, so yeah, the second one, we're on the first one. We're on the cat food. All right. So now, now we know. Now we know. So for the second one is it says that our budget is $12 and this dog costs a hundred dollars. Nate, do we have enough money? To buy this dog? No. So that dog is out of our budget, right? Yes. Okay, okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. So next, we have our budget of $13. And then we have a little doggy little house for $55. Christabel, can we buy this dog house right here for $55? No. No, we can't. Why is that? Uh, because. It's in our budget, and if we have thirteen dollars right now, and it costs fifty-five dollars, then we can buy. It. But if we had fifty-five dollars, then we can buy it. Yes, if we had the doggy, if we had a hundred dollars, we could buy anything. Yep, that's true. That's true. Great job. All right, so I need Arvine to help me out with this next one. So we have $7 in our budget, and this goldfish costs $7. Arvine, do we have enough money to buy this goldfish? Is it in our budget? Yep. Yes, it is. Great job. Great job. All right, so let's move to this next one. Oh, I have a fish tank with lights, too. Okay, so we have a $10 budget right here, and the fish tank costs $80. 
Ariella, do we have enough money to buy this fish tank? Yes, but I think it's better not because then you would be like bankrupt. You wouldn't have any money left. Yeah, we actually don't even oh. have any money to buy because we only have $10 in our budget and this fish tank costs $80. Yeah. yeah, but you're right. If we did buy it, we would sh for surely be bankrupt because we'll be negative $70 in, huh? Yeah, we don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. All right, so for this brush, this brush is $8 and our budget is $8. So do we have enough money for this? Let me see a thumbs up from everyone if we have enough money. So we actually do have enough money for this, Arvine. It's eight, the, it costs $8 and we have $8 in our budget. Now we, don't, we wouldn't wanna spend it because we don't wanna have $0, but we can buy it, but we don't want to because we never wanna be at zero, right? We always wanna have some money. All right. So next we're gonna have our um, video from one of our special guests. We actually have a video from a professional soccer player who was gonna be with us today, but he has a, he has a game today that he's playing. But what he did was create a video for us. So if, we, if I'll stop sharing my screen, and uh, the producer could help us and play this video, that would be great. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Amobi Okugo. I'm a professional athlete and entrepreneur. I started a Frugal Athlete, which is an online financial media platform that promotes prudent financial practices and smart career decisions amongst professional athletes and student athletes. Our goal is to help athletes make, manage, and multiply their money through financial education and athlete empowerment. So with that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys about budget. I know budget is the theme of this uh, module, this lesson, this week. Um, and I think I wanna give you guys three takeaways as it pertains to how you guys can budget better. So first and foremost, what is a budget? If you don't know, a budget is basically organizing all the things that you have when it comes to money, your expenses, the money you make, and kind of putting it together so it's organized and you can keep track of um, how you handle your money. So with that being said, when it comes to a budget, one thing that you have to make sure is that you have to map out all your expenses. So what are you paying for? What bills do you have? What obligations do you have to take care of? You map them all out and then you also map out your goals so what are some goals that you have as it pertains to um do you want to save up for a bike do you want to save up for a vacation do you want to save up for a new video game if you can allocate time to map out all your expenses and all your goals um it'll be easier to budget because now you're given a budget a reason you're given a reason to budget secondly um i think it's important for you to pay yourself first a lot of people don't know about the difference between you know doing stuff day to day and paying yourself first so say you have a hundred dollars and you have to do this you have to do that you have to do this the first thing that you should do is allocate a little bit of money from that a hundred dollars to pay yourself first you never know what can happen you may have an emergency you may want to you know take care of yourself in other ways um so paying yourself first um, will allow you to take care of everything else down the road. Um, and then lastly, the last point I want to make is that you have to divide your wants versus needs. I think if you can divide what you want versus what you need, uh, for example, everyone wants, you know, a video game. Everyone needs food. Which one is more important? You need food to survive. You want video games to have fun. So if you can divide your wants versus needs, it'll be easier when you budget where you might have to um, get rid of some things, um, where you have to add some things and go from there. So those are three tips that I have when it comes to budgeting. I hope you guys can take these valuable lessons and apply it to your own situations. I know you guys are younger, but as you guys build out these principles and learn these principles, they'll be very important as you get older. Hopefully, I can hopefully see you guys soon. And um, chat with you guys at another time. I'm a Mobi Kugo and talk to you guys later. All right. So that was from a professional soccer player who's actually playing a professional soccer game right now. So he wanted to leave a video for you all and tell you how important budgeting is 
and how it can really change our financial futures. So let's go back, I'm gonna share my screen again, and then we're gonna talk about a few budgeting tips, and then we're gonna play our Kahoot game, because you know we gotta come in first this time, right? Let me see everybody throw up first. Let me see everybody throw up first place. Yep, we're coming in first this time. So for some more, some budgeting tips, the reason you would like to budget your money is because you need to control your money. The thing is, you wanna control your money and not let your money control you, okay? And then the second reason you need to be budgeting is knowing what's coming in and knowing what's coming out. So we wanna understand what's coming into our income and then we wanna also know what's coming out. What are we spending our money on? Next, we wanna set a goal or a plan like we talked about in the beginning. Setting a plan lets us know that we're not spending our money crazy. It's not going over here. It's not going over here. We have it in a straight line and we know where it's going. And then the fourth rule is adjust and adapt. We have to be able to change and pivot whenever we can, okay? Great, great, great. So now let's play our game. Because we come in first place this time, right team? All right, y'all know we the money squad, money squad, money squad. All right, team. Let's see, you get ready, get ready, get ready. What is a budget? Is it number one, income from a job? Is it number two? a savings plan? Is it number three, a spending plan? Or is it number four, a plan for how to save and spend money? I see, I see Ariella with number four, I see you. I see Nate with number four, I see, I see some fours. We're going with four, let's do it. Oh, y'all smart. Y'all so smart, great job. All right, are we in first? Okay, we coming, we coming for that first place. We coming for that first place. Don't worry. We're going to get it. We're going to get it, Nate. We're going to get it, Nate. Yeah. If, 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 if Josie earns $10 per week and spends $5, how much money does she have left for a movie ticket? So she earns five and spends five on candy. How much does she have left? Does it, is it $10, $20, $5, or $0? $5. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's go with five. Let's go with five. Great job, team. I see it that week. I see you. I see you. Great job. All right, second place. We moving on up. We moving on up. Let's get there first. If, Jose, if, if Josie has $5, if a movie ticket costs $5 and popcorn and soda costs four, will Josie have enough for both of them? Yes or no? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Okay, I'm seeing some thumbs down. I'm seeing some thumbs down. All right, let's go with no. Yes, that's how you do it, team. That's how you do it, team. Are we in first? Hey, we're in first place. Let's keep it. Let's keep our lead. Let's keep our lead. Let's keep our lead. If What can Josie do next time to make sure she has enough money for a movie ticket and snacks? One, can she ask her family for the money? Two, can she make a budget? Three, spend all her money on candy. Which one do y'all think? One, two, or three? I'm seeing some tools out there. I'm seeing some tools out there. Okay, I'm seeing some tools. Let's go with two. Make a budget. Great job, team. Great job, team. Oh, yeah, we still in first. We still in first. That's how you do it. What two questions should you ask yourself when making a budget? All right, this, is a, this might be a hard one. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. One, where does my money come from and where does my money go? Two, do you want fries with that? Would you like a medium or large? Or three, 
what can I buy with all my money and how fast can I spend it all? I see some ones out there. Okay, okay. I see some ones, ones, ones. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Y'all are so smart. Wow. And, we're, and we haven't even got one wrong yet. We're still undefeated. Great job, team. Let's get 100%. Bills are things you must pay for each week or each month. Which one is that, true or false? True or false? What we got? We got some trues. We got some trues. All right. Okay, I see some more trues. Let's go with true. Y'all on it. Y'all on it. Yeah, y'all on it. Oh, we are killing them, 100%. Yeah, y'all on it today. We got two more questions. Let's keep 100%, okay? An example of a bill could be, one, grocery food, grocery or food, two, electricity, three, internet, or four, all of them? Which one do y'all think? Okay, I see fours. Christabel, what you think? Talk to her, what you think, what you think? One, two, three, or four? Oh, I, see, okay. I see some fours. All right, let's go with four. Hey, there you go, team, there you go, team. All right, we got one more question. Let's get it right, okay? This is the last question. Let's get it right. How can you make sure to have enough money for bills, saving, and fun? Is it one, get a job? Is it two, save all of your money? Is it three, spend all of your money? Or is it four, create a budget? What is it? How can we make sure to have enough money for everything we wanna do? I see the fours, I see some fours, all right. I see some, okay, y'all smart, y'all smart. There we go, team, there we go, there we go. All right, let's see if we came in first. Let's see if we came in first. Okay. That's not us. Let's see, did we do it, did we do it? Money squad! Good job, team. Good job, team. First place. And we beat them by 4,000 points. We didn't get one wrong. Yeah, y'all did great on this one. Yeah, y'all did great on this one. All right, let me stop sharing my screen. It's about time to the end of class, but I want to go around the class and ask everybody one thing they learned today. I just want to know one thing. Let's start with my man, Nate. What you, what you learned today? Just one thing. Give us one. that the last question we did, I thought it was get a job, but then I changed my mind mm -hmm. and create a budget. That's what I learned today. That's great, that's great. That's weaker. One thing you learn, talk to us. Is that we have to think what we need to have for our money to get it. Yes, ma'am. That's ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ariella, what you learned today? One thing. Give us one. I learned some, some things about budgeting. Like, I didn't, I knew that a budget had something to do with money, but I didn't know exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. And now I know exactly what it is. Yes, ma'am. I'm happy to hear when that. Balance, it's when you balance your money between saving and spending. And fun. Can't forget about fun, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's great. That's great. Christabel, give us one thing you learned today. Just one. Um, I know you got one. Budgets on, are important. Yes, they are. Yes, ma'am. Great job. RV, one thing, one thing you learned today. Um, um, money. Yep, we did learn about money. That's true, that's true. So if you all have any questions for us, any questions? Nate, what's up, man? This is my first time in this class and it was 
a good, a really good class. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you learned and yeah. had a good time. Yeah. And, and thanks for sharing uh, that game, the Prodigy game for us. That's really, that's really huge, man. Yes. All right. If there's no more questions, I'll see you all next Monday, okay? All right, team. Have a good one.